Hello and welcome to Billy Ho Sports. Happy 502 Tuesday, 502 area code in Louisville where I live. Uh, so this is going to be a short video to update the top contenders. This is a top five list. We all love lists, right? Uh, it will be added to the Derby Trail playlist, obviously. Uh, I obviously will be releasing my Kentucky Oaks 150 preview and picks. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, I really like that video. I do a really deep dive into it. Past performances, race replays, showing breaks from the gate, and uh, a really good uh, discussion on all the 14 contenders, plus a couple, a little bit about the also eligibles. I feel like I got a pretty good gas, gasp, grasp of the top fillies. So as always, I ask, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Uh, leave a comment, and let's get into it. Uh, so for the next two uh, next few days leading up to Saturday, it's bubble wrap time for these horses. The trainers want to keep them as safe as possible. They'll be out on the track galloping around a little bit, playing around. You saw Forever Young, if you watched it this morning, really being personable with the crowd, the Japanese contingent, uh, being generous with their time with him. He's walking down the gate, and people are petting him and waving at him and, uh, and everything, which is kind of cool. So uh, – we are going to go uh, get into this top five list. So let's start with number five. That will be Stronghold, sired by Ghost Zapper. Never been worse than second and is improving each race. He's in a good spot right next to Fierceness to file right in behind him and get into his typical stalking type position, although he doesn't stay too far off the lead, which is good for the Kentucky Derby. Five, six links probably at the most. So uh, the other thing that's good about him, he's tough in traffic down the stretch. And uh, so you're going to get great value on him. He's our number five. Now, number four, Honor Marie. Look, looking terrific. Uh, great value, 20 to one morning line. Probably going to get bet down, not 100% sure on that. But as I've mentioned in previous videos, he was right there next to catching freedom in the Louisiana Derby. Uh, so look very good. If you're really high on catching freedom, why not with a three times the odds, probably at least honor Marie. Uh, also a little uh, tidbit checkbox for honor Marie. She has the classiest win at Churchill Downs. Uh, there's several that have raced and several broke maidens and one at Churchill Downs but she won the grade two Kentucky jockey club. So that was the classiest race of this group. Number three, Sierra Leone. I moved him down to three, I think even before the post draw, I'm not hundred percent sure on that, but uh, honestly uh, I'm thinking he's less likely for the win now. And I, I really hate to say that because I love gun runner. That's his sire. That's one of my favorites. Uh, should have won the Derby, I think, in my opinion, but just didn't get there. Honestly, uh, more of an underneath play. I just don't like that post number two draw. I think he's fantastic. Could win either of the next two legs of the Triple Crown. Post uh, pretty compromising. He's probably got his hands full navigating through the pack. Uh, so it, it just increases his chances of having more of a troubled trip, and that's uh, just a tough deal. But, I mean, it's not like he's the third choice, so he, he's not going anywhere as far as my uh, exotics and, you know, and boxes. He'll be in any box if I'm boxing horses, so don't, don't doubt that for a minute. So, number two, catching freedom. Come on strong in the three-year-old season so far and that victory in the Louisiana Derby. Uh, while overcoming the huge disruption of the three-horse breaking through the gate, he banged his head after he got distracted when the horse broke because he wanted to go too. He saw that horse going, so he was going. He hit his head, but then you see him, and they settles down, and he just sits there, and I mean, he don't move a muscle. The whole time they take the three horse back around the gate and reload and set him up again, and then he kind of gets off slow. I guess he's staying that long. Sometimes, you know, maybe he wasn't quite ready for the break, so he kind of broke a little bit slow, 
Uh, but the the way he overcame that was phenomenal. Now, I always say watching these replays over and over again, I, I kind of find new things here and there. Uh, this one was interesting to me. Uh, catching Freedom at the three-quarter pole had actually spotted Honor Marie three lengths right at the three-quarter pole. And you see how fast he closed that gap where they were even at the top of the stretch. And he even dodged uh, the drift out by Honor Marie to, to stay out of the way and then plowed through and out kicked her or her. I keep saying her, but it's him because it's Honor Marie because it's got a Marie in the name. So I apologize for that. Plus, I just did the Phillies video. So I got her on the brain. So anyway, uh, uh, just a lockstep uh, number two, catching freedom. Really like them. So uh, still number one, fierceness. Post-17, which is fine with me. Uh, his opening break to the lead shouldn't be compromised very much. Uh, he's looked all business this week, loves the track, looking really good and fit and ready to rock. So he's poised for a big race. If he gets a good trip, he's going to be hard to beat. So there you have it, the 2024 Derby top five list. And that's probably my final uh, of the lists, so to speak. And I'm going to be digging into uh, post uh, or past performances and all that. So I'll probably have a video out. Maybe we'll go over a little bit of past performances. Uh, but I, I did post the each uh, of my top five, their past performances in this video. So you can get you a screenshot of that. But there's plenty of free copies. Everybody loves to give out free stuff for the Derby. So you'll find it out there. So anyway, uh, that'll do it. I appreciate all your support. It's been phenomenal run through the Kentucky Derby. Keep it up. Best of luck this week. See you soon.